Hello my friends, Dave Schramm here from SchrammGuitars.com and today I've got this 2x4. I probably wonder what is Dave going to do with this 2x4. Well, I gotta tell you, one of my favorite guitar builders is a guy named John Gilbert. Uh, he passed away, yeah, I think it was around 2012. I used to visit his shop quite often. I really uh, learned a lot from him by my visits to his shop. And one thing he had was a, this really cool um, neck support. You know, something like this that you'd rest your, the neck of the guitar on. He had this really cool neck support that I'm sure was influenced by his machinist background. And it was made out of a 2x4. And today I'm going to make one from what I remember what it looked like because it was really cool. It was adjustable for different heights and everything. So we're going to build one. I hope you enjoy this video. This is in tribute to John Gilbert. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get a 2x4. I found this in my scrap uh, pile. And I've already laid out how I'm going to cut this. Uh, the length, just to give you an idea here, looks like it's about 9 inches long. And then I went about a quarter of an inch from the top to here and here and just drew a diagonal line. The angle really doesn't matter. Well, what's going to happen, this is going to get cut, and these parts are going to slide on each other so the height gets larger here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this so we have these two pieces. All right, I've cut my two pieces from the 2x4. So what's going to happen is this is the bottom piece, this is the top. The neck's going to rest up here. So this is going to be able to slide up and down so that this height here gets taller. And then I've cut these other pieces that are about two and a half inches wide. I'm sorry, two and a, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter wide. About eight and a half inch in length. Three quarters um, thick here. This is going to get glued on here to kind of help keep this in line on each side. Then this is going to be cut straight here. And then on one of these, I'm going to drill a, I think it's a quarter inch hole. I'll have to check my screw. But there's a screw that's going to go in here that I can tighten and loosen that'll lock this upper piece in place. Okay, so my next thing, uh, next goal is to cut this angle on here so that this will go right here. And I'm going to do that on both pieces and then um, locate the screw, okay? Okay, my next step for uh, these pieces, I've kind of trimmed them to the, the angle that I want that kind of meets the, uh, uh, the base. And I pre-drilled some holes for some drywall screws that are gonna attach it to the side of the lower two by four. Um, now on this one, what I've done is I've used a number seven drill bit and this quarter 20 uh, tap. So I've drilled this hole and tapped it because I'm going to use this, uh, I think this is an inch and a half quarter 20, uh, seven sixteenths head. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but this threads in here and this is going to be able to set the adjustable height of the uh, device. So next step I'm going to show you how I glue it all up and how this is going to work. All right I got my pieces ready to go. I've got my screws already in here. It's already pre-drilled so all I'm going to do is use some original tight bond. Put just a little bit on there and then I'm going to glue this on here. So you make sure when you do the gluing it does not get on this surface here because th that's where this part is going to slide. So avoid glue in that spot. So I'm not going to use a lot of glue here.
excited about building this because John Gilbert was such a huge influence on me. And I uh, really got to know about John Gilbert through one of my favorite guitar players, George Sacolario, and his recording that only came out on cassette tape called Sakura. Still is probably my one of my top three favorite uh, classical guitar recordings of all time. Uh, George's tone and his musicality on that is just phenomenal. And of course he played the Gilbert guitar. That's how I found out about John Gilbert guitars. And they're just so unique and beautiful in their simplicity. Especially those from like the, the uh, early 80s to about 19, uh, 85, 86. That's kind of like my favorite uh, Gilbert era guitars. Okay, so I got one side uh, on there, glued up. Make sure your screws are tight. Don't need to clamp it because the screws are applying that pressure. And it's helpful if the screws are sticking out a little bit to help index off the holes you already pre-drilled. So let's see, that's going to go that way. Again, not a lot of glue. Remember to avoid the uh, sliding surface. squeeze out with my scraper here. I'm getting the glue out of the got a little bit in the channel here. Scrape that out. the next step. All right, so now have the base complete. And what I've done, I've got this um, double stick or single sticky side uh, sandpaper here. And I've leveled this because you don't want this flopping around. So you can use your belt sander or do this, get that all leveled on there. So everything's hunky-dory. Right now, the top piece, this part that is adjustable, it's going to go on here, so this, this wedge. And it's going to slide, making the top part here adjustable. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is um, <clears throat> I'm going to put some cork on the top of this so that um, it'll protect whatever I rest on top of this part of the design. So how, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead, actually, yeah, I don't know, you might as well use the device, put my quarter 20 screw in here to hold this as I put the double stick tape on the top surface.
and then uh, we'll double stick tape this. Uh, this is, I think, eighth inch cork that I have over here that I'm going to mount on this. There we go. I'm going to get my tape, put that on there, and my X-Acto knife. Cut this off. it and got my cork and I'm just gonna go ahead and flush trim this uh, Double stick tape. Really excited about making this. It'll be inspiring because I'll be thinking about my mentor, John Gilbert. Man, was a genius. Man, I sure miss going to his shop. Great conversations with him and his son, Bill. Bill is a fantastic guitar maker himself. Hope he's still building the Gilbert guitar. It's been a while since I spoke to him. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna unpeel this double stick tape. Actually, gonna when I cut this, I'm cutting a little bit outside of the cork. I've just found that sometimes if you flush trim it, it it uh, falls apart <laughs> sometimes. So you gotta kind of work up to the the line. Okay. So there, I've got the the cork on here. And um, I'm just going to take this to my belt sander real quick and, and get it nice and flush. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I flush trimmed the, the cork on the uh, neck rest. Okay, I double stick taped it on there. So now, this, here's the base. I'll let you take a look at that. Here's the screw. So I just tapped it into this uh, Baltic birch uh, plywood, three quarter inch plywood. Put some beeswax on it so it m moves really well. <coughs> and then the, here's the uh, movable wedge piece. Now I've seen these kind of designs, like I think Machinist, there's a Machinist tool that does something like this. I think that's where John got the idea from his Machinist background. So this is gonna go in here in that slot. So this is, can slide up and down. And then you can adjust the height. I'll show it to you this way. So you can adjust the height with this set screw here doesn't take much pressure and there so like if you want to rest the neck of the guitar on here no matter how high you want it you can raise or lower it whatever you need or if you need it really high for some reason that'll go up here all right so thanks to John Gilbert Miss you, buddy. Um, thanks for all the influence you've had on my building. Uh, if you decide to make one of these, I'd love to see it. You can send me a picture or post a video of it. Um, I guess we'll call it the John Gilbert Adjustable Neck Rest. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. 
And uh, if you have any videos you'd like to see me do or different topics, uh, put it down in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do for you. All right. So everybody have fun building and I'll see you next time. Bye.